long as I don't hit my motorcycle. Oh yeah, this is like, this is top trucker award stuff happening right here. Hello, I'm that James guy, and today we're gonna pick up the new engine for the Fiesta. Well, new, used engine for the Fiesta. That Fiesta that's kind of sitting over there that you can see over my shoulder. Uh, anyway, I'm also gonna be talking about trailers and old pickups. If you're like me and only need a pickup once in a while, you can use the back of your little SUV like we have there once in a while to kind of take care of most dump runs and whatnot. But then you actually need a truck once in a while. Should you get a truck and let it sit on your driveway like an old crappy truck that you use once in a while? Or should you get a trailer like this one right here? This is a Harbor Freight trailer that I purchased, oh man, 12 years ago. And uh, it's been absolutely great and costs almost nothing. And I think it's better better than having a pickup. So here's what I'll do. I'm gonna go and put this trailer together, show you how I store it, kind of backwards. Let's just rewind, and you'll see me set this thing up. And uh, away we go, we'll, uh, we'll go pick up this engine. Here we go. So I bought this trailer, like I said, from Harbor Freight uh, 12 years ago. It's a four by eight foldable trailer. It uh, is 299 US dollars. And uh, it, uh, it's been amazing. Now there were some extremely bad quality issues. One of them was the wiring so there's no ground circuits on the trailer it's all so your tail lights and everything are grounded through the actual body of the trailer and everybody online says uh, make your own ground so you know when stuff's painted and bolted together obviously the ground can't make its way home um, but right when I built it I made my own harness for it so that it was uh, you know had a good ground and all the lights and everything worked it didn't come with a deck you can see I have a piece of plywood on top it's just a half inch piece of plywood rough I think I bought treated just so that it would perhaps last a little longer than if it wasn't treated and what else did I do oh yeah motorcycle chalk I put a motorcycle chalk on it I have hauled many motorcycles with this trailer to like either when I bought them sold them I've pulled them all the way out to a Soyuz when I'm out there for holidays that's like 250 miles each way so it is a really crappy quality cheap trailer but it seems for the amount I use it to work quite well I think nowadays that same trailer is pushing a thousand dollars I think Canadian Tire here up in Canada even has it uh, for something around like eleven hundred dollars I'd probably opt for that it's already imported the importing costs you know two hundred dollars on its own if you want to import just the trailer into Canada so you're really not saving money by buying at a Harbor Freight anymore Going by the looks of it, it does seem to be the exact same trailer as Harbor Freight, the one at Canadian Tire. But here's the thing, I'm into this thing back then for a total of 800 bucks. Uh, for a whole year of insurance, 70 bucks. Uh, and then when I'm not using it, it just sits in the corner. So the advantages here is that if you only need a pickup once in a while, it's not like, you know, with the gas prices today at $2.20 a liter, and when I exchange that for my American friends, including exchange rate with money, that's $6.40 a gallon. Yeah, I don't want to drive around in a pickup truck all day long, so the advantage here is I can drive around in this beautiful CX-5, which is a lot of fun to drive. And, and when I need a truck, I hook the trailer on. Advantage number two, the deck of the trailer is only gonna say two feet off the ground 
So me and my wife moved a piano. You may have seen it in a few of my previous videos. There's always a piano in the background. We went and bought a free piano. Great idea, except when you have to move it. Uh, but at the end of the day, me and her, because of the way the deck tilts on this trailer, we were able to, well, yeah, we struggled, but we got it on the trailer and got it off the trailer. And you never, ever would have been able to do that with a pickup truck just because it's too high and it doesn't tilt and anything like that. Now, I get that a pickup's easy. You get in the pickup and drive it. But a pickup also, if you're just buying an old crappy pickup to have sit on the corner of your driveway, um, it's kind of an eyesore. And around here anyways, you can put a day plate on, a, on a, an old pickup, let's say, but it's 35 bucks a day. You know, each day after that's cheaper. So let's say you did three days and it was 60 bucks. And you've only used it for three days, it cost you 60 bucks. Just base insurance is gonna cost you 100 bucks a month if you wanna keep insurance on it. And with this trailer, 70 bucks for the entire year. And I basically have a pickup in the corner of my garage that I can use it any point in time. I, I don't see the disadvantage here. I, I just don't. So anyway, I'll boil down to, I think this is an option, uh, an excellent option. If you don't have the need for a pickup, like to have one year round, you just need one once in a while. I don't think there's a better way to do it than this. You can hear my trailer clanking in the background, I bet, but I just, yeah, I'm used to it. It just makes lots of noise when there's no weight on it. Another thing is payload. So with the payload, on a brand new 2022 Silverado, I looked it up. Varies between models and options, but generally about 1,700 to 2,200 pounds, which that's a lot of weight. But this trailer is rated for 1,500 pounds. I wouldn't use it with 1,500 pounds for long distances, that's for sure. But the option is there. This Mazda CX-5 is, is rated for 2,000 pound towing capacity, so I think that's a lot of weight. That's like four of these engines, five of these engines, and so, you know, the payload capacity is there. I have also made side stakes for it, so I want to haul things I don't want rolling off. Um, I can just kind of put those on. Uh, they just bolt in in about five minutes. Anyway, we're, uh, we're heading towards this engine here. It's in South Langley, I'm gonna go pick it up. Uh, hats off to my boss, Mike. My boss, Mike, found it for me. I looked everywhere, as you know. I was on auto wrecking sites and all around. Thank you, thank you, Mike. You found it for me. I don't know how Mike does it, but he finds all this stuff on Craigslist and sorted it all out. All I had to do is text the guy and arrange pickup. And here we go. It has a hundred and twenty thousand kilometers on it, I'm told. And it runs okay, I'm told. So uh, he's basically to save time. He's not even unbolting it from its transmission or anything. So I'm getting a, another transmission. Not that I need one, but maybe we'll take a transmission apart one of these days so that we can see how that works as well. Sounds like a kind of a fun time. Another advantage to owning a trailer is you get to pretend to be a trucker. Maybe a real bad trucker, but oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. Concentrating on too many things at once. Oh, let's open the garage door. It's gonna be seamless. As long as I don't hit my motorcycle. Oh yeah, this is like, this is top trucker award stuff happening right here. Okay, we made it home with our new engine. Uh, no holes in this one. This engine is slightly different than the other one because this is actually out of a Focus, not out of a Fiesta. I had no idea they put these in Focus. Look at, no hole. No hole, guys. Um, I had no idea they put these in Focuses. I wish I did because that would have broadened my search. I'll buy a lot. So let's get this thing off and that'll be it for today. That's it for today. Uh, all done. Engine sitting on the floor over there. 
Trailers parked in the corner, I think I've done a really good job of explaining why tr utility trailers are a good thing, and you should probably have one instead of a pickup truck. Okay, if you found this useful or even just mildly entertaining, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.